So today we're going to talk mega walls. My name is Josh Frank, Senior Applications Engineer here at Jim Myers & Sons. I want to thank everybody for being here. Many projects, these can be viewed as ancillary pieces of equipment, but occasionally, sometimes these account for sometimes millions of dollars on projects. So moving on to the mega wall system. Uh, it's a plank style wall. Uh, we typically use 18 to 22 gauge planks. Uh, these are sandwiched in place with stainless steel angles at the basin walls and also at intermediate columns where necessary. Uh, we typically use these in flocculator basins, but they can also be used in clear wells and other locations. We typically design for a maximum 2 inch head differential. Uh, most of the time we leave a 1 to 2 inch gap at the bottom for clean out, so it's very difficult for the water uh, not to equalize out. So they don't really see that water dif the head differential very often. Um, the planks can fit through very small openings, such as manways. Um, so great for uh, underground basins and stuff like that. So, like the troughs, uh, our main competition is fiberglass for these baffle walls. Uh, similar competitors, MFG, NEFCO, Enduro, and there's a, uh, several others. We, uh, in stainless steel, have uh, superior resistance to UV degradation. We will not splinter at end of life like fiberglass, and the cost of the wall in stainless steel is comparable to fiberglass we found, and we have a much longer useful life than fiberglass and wood, for that matter. Uh, shown here are the three main baffle wall configurations we use. Uh, we found that all work well in flocculation basins, and we don't have a preferred configuration ourselves. Uh, the choice mainly comes down to plant preference. Uh, here you can see over under, have solid panels at the bottom, holes where we need them in the top, and you have an over under flow. Uh, we have it just fully ported, where holes are evenly spaced, or serpentine, where you can go left or right based on our hole pattern. Uh, the 10 state standards require flow through a flocculator basin to be 0.5 to 1.5 feet per second. Yeah. And given the flow, we can calculate the open area needed to achieve that. Uh, we can also put in sliding or swinging doors in these panels uh, where required. Uh, here's a spotlight from a project recently in Monroe, Louisiana, where we replaced some wooden baffle walls that were falling apart. The baffle wall separated walk and beam flocks that we supplied on the project. Um, it was a total project value of uh, half a million dollars and it was about $100,000 worth of baffle walls. We were able to reuse some uh, existing support concrete columns they had there with notches. So we custom engineered the support system a little bit for that project. And uh, just a way to increase our scope a little over just supplying a walking beam flocculator and um, gave us a little bit of a competitive advantage over the other walking beam flocculator suppliers. So, to recap, Mega Wall uh, is used to manage water flow or contact time. The panel design is flexible and for easy installation. We can custom design them any configuration you need. And the strength and durability of stainless steel is much greater than fiberglass.